I'm going to conclude our first look here at event handlers by popping up. I'm just going to grab this just to make our lives a little easier. I'm going to cut and paste some code in just to demonstrate something. All right, so what we have here is a paragraph. I got the mouse over. Now, let me just take, take care of this style stuff first. In my first video, when I introduced the course, I mentioned that learning JavaScript will make you a little bit more knowledgeable about basic HTML and web design. And here's an example how a little JavaScript will make certain things obvious that may have not been obvious to you. So for instance, so this, we have an, an alert on a uh, mouse over. So if I mouse over here, I get the alert, right? Over this paragraph. Now watch this. I'm going to mouse all the way over here. And it still pops open, right? Way over here. Strange, you know, you got your, you got your, uh, your text here. And it stops here, but even though I mouse here. So what we learn by that is that, uh, yeah, is that a paragraph, right? A basic paragraph and no style information, as far as the web browser is concerned, extends page end to end, right? And that makes sense, right? But now it becomes painfully obvious. Stop. So if we go here, now I'm just going to reapply that style information. I'm setting the width, giving it a border, yada, 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 so we can see it. So here we go, here's our border. So now we can navigate around this, uh, this evil mouse over here, no problem. See, watch, watch this, I push, ding, ding. So there you go. So you can see how the on click or mouse over or any event handler really is very precise, down to the pixel if you need it to be. So you can see how people can use this to create games and stuff. You can, you know, mouse over here and have something appear down here. We'll get into that kind of stuff a little later on. So let me check my notes. Now that we have a look at event handlers, we can look over to basic notes. And I think they'll make much more sense to you. So here we go. Event handlers are built in mechanisms that basically scan for events or actions to happen. So we applied on load here. So basically told JavaScript that we should scan for this. When this page loads, we want to do this. You know, uh, we told it here. When somebody clicks on this paragraph, do this. By applying the event handler, we are essentially sending a command to the JavaScript engine to start scanning for a click on this paragraph and on the body when the body loads. So it's pretty cool. So you can think of them as little sentinels or little guard posts or little guards checking out for things, particular actions that you want to catch. And this is and these actions are defined by the event handler you choose to apply to the particular element. I hope that makes sense. One more time, event handlers are built-in mechanisms that basically scan for events, actions, to happen. For example, when somebody clicks on the mouse on a piece of text, that's on click. When someone moves the mouse over an image, that's on mouse over. When a page is loaded into the web browser, on load. One point, if it's not already obvious, event handler names, example, on click, are examples of keywords in the JavaScript language. In our next video, we're going to actually get into even more practical JavaScript. What I suggest that you do now is uh, set up some paragraphs, maybe some images, apply some event handlers to them on mouse over, on click, etc. And just pop up a bunch of alert boxes and uh, just play around with it. The more you write code, the easier it gets. Yes, you have to develop those nerd JavaScript coding eyes so that the code looks less and less like gibberish to you and more and more like uh, any other language, well, whatever your, your first language happens to be.